Hello and welcome back to you in uh, our brand new tutorial. So I am covering here about to 3 library. It's a Python SDK provided by Amazon Web Services. So it's a fantastic library and uh, in this tutorial series I'm gonna um, cover how to download file from your Amazon Web Services bucket that is the S3 bucket. So let's type uh, in terminal Python. So it will enter into the Python command cell. So in the Python command cells, we need to first of course we need to import the Moto3 module. So Moto3 module has been imported into the my Python cell. So let's uh, create a uh, uh, client here. So let's see what we need to create here. Okay. So here I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna show you two methods. One is the client method and resource method. So you'll be having two method to download your file. So first I'm going to show you how you can download your file using a client method. So S3 is equal to the boto 3 dot client and this, the connection has been made with your S3 here. So the S3 dot download underscore file and here we need to provide the bucket name and the file name. Okay. So the, it would accept the three parameters. So the first parameter would be the bucket name. So the, that is the my bucket, my name buckets and uh, then we need to provide here the file name okay so the file name is uh, to do list dot zip so it's actually uh, accepting a uh, two uh, another parameters so the first one which uh, it will get from uh, s3 bucket so it's a to do list dot zip and the another one the name which uh, uh, this boto3 will use to store this file on your on your local computer so I'm gonna give the name to the client underscore to do list dot chip and then press the enter. So you will see here it will take a little bit time to download your file and uh, uh, however I have not given any path there. So it will download this uh, file into the root directory. So that is a uh, user slash m breadth. So with the name of the client underscore to do list dot Zip. So let's wait for a few seconds to up uh, to download this file into my computer. Uh, yes, so the download has been done, and uh, if you see into my uh, window uh, finder, so there are client underscore to do list dot zip has been downloaded. Right, so there is another file, the uh, older file, and this one is the new file, which I have just downloaded from S3 bucket. Now let me show you the another method. There is another method using a resource method. You can also download your file from Amazon Web Services bucket. Okay, so let's start from uh, beginning. So the Python, enter into the command window of the Python, import Boto3 library, and uh, then uh, we need to import the here Boto core also. So the Boto core would be using to uh, use uh, exceptions and error handling. So let's uh, create a, here a resource S3 resource S3 is equal to the Boto3 dot resource and we need to specify S3. So it has made a connection with my S3 bucket. Okay. So the try. So it will first try. Right. So the try and the accept is a method to uh, to try. So if it gets success, it will, you know, uh, it will execute. Otherwise, it will give some error, exception error. So the S3 dot bucket and then the bucket name dot download uh, underscore file. Here I would, uh, I need to give the file name. So there would be a two file names. So the first parameters would be the original file name, which is uh, stored at uh, uh, cloud. So that is the to do list uh, dot zip. And the another one is the file name, which uh, I'm gonna, the name for which I'm gonna store on the local computer. So it's a resource underscore to do list dot zip. So press the enter and then press the tab. Uh, no, don't press the tab here now. I need to write there the accept. Okay, so in the accept, that means if uh, anything wrong gone, then what would happen here? So let's uh, type there the boto core 
dot exceptions dot client error okay so now to press the enter and then if now here i'll check so the response so e is the exception and in the exception uh, if i get the error okay and error code is 404 so if error code is 404 then uh, i would like to print some message here so let's see uh, let's print a message name as uh, some let's say the error print uh, print there that the object does not exist and else else raise an exception right so double enter now you will see it has downloaded the file into your local directory so you can see here uh, with the previous method this method is uh, much faster than uh, the file download using a client method so you can compare here resource methods and the client methods uh, we have tried with the both methods and uh, i would like to stop this tutorial here and stay tuned for more tutorials and subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox so thank you so much for watching